What is a logarithm? A logarithm is an operation not unlike any other operation that asks a question. For example, the, this symbol here asks a question. It says, what number, uh, what number has x as its square? Y radical 9 equals plus minus 3. <clears throat> plus minus 3 squared is 9. Log base b of x also asks a question. It says, b to what power gives x? That's how you're supposed to read it. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to, I'm going to um, simplify some log expressions and then use it to solve some exponential e equations. So log of 100, you know that if there's no number here, it's assumed to be 10. So this says 10 to what power gives 100. So this number is 10 squared is 100, so this is equal to 2. Similarly here, log base 2 of 16. 2 to what power gives 16? The answer is 4. Uh, log base 9 of 3. The, the, the number is smaller, but you can still raise 9 to some power and get 3 out. If you take the square root of 9, you, you will get 3. So if you raise it to the 1 half power, you will get 3. Okay, this over here, log base 5 of 1. 5 to what power gives 1? Well, anything to the 0 power is 1, so log base 5 of 1 is going to be 0. The natural log of e to the 6th, this one's kind of important. This says um, e to what power gives e to the 6th? And that's obviously 6. Right? They sort of undo each other. If you have, if the, the, the uh, base matches the base of the argument, then the result is just going to be whatever the exponent is. So we get this one here. What's log base 10 of 0? Well, you think 10 to what power gives 0? There is no such power, right? You can't raise 10 to any power and get 0 out. So this is d and e. Undefined. Does not exist. You can't take the, the logarithm of anything that's not positive. All right? It doesn't make any sense because you can't get anything but positive numbers out of exponentials. We could use that to solve simple equations. Based on what I just said back there, this is a, this is a true statement. Okay, log base b of b to the x, it asks a question. b to what power gives b t t to the x? And the answer is just going to be the exponent that you started with, so it's x. So we can use capitalize on this uh, property of the, the log operation to solve simple equations like so. Uh, solve for x, it says, well, what are you going to do? Uh, you're going to want to take away 2, 3 to x, equals 7 minus 2 is 5. And once you do all the uh, addition and subtraction multiplication and things, you come down to an exponential e equation. What you do is you take the logarithm of both sides according to whatever base is, uh, has the exponent in it. So from this step down, you would say log base 3 of 3 to the x equals log base 3 of 5. Now this side, log base 3 of 3 to the x, we know that that's x, equals log base 3 of 5. And that's the answer. We don't know what that is because we don't have a calculator, but algebraically, this is how it's solved. Second example here, not a whole lot different. Um, solve this. What do you do? Well, you have to somehow get it so that the um, base and the exponent are by themselves. So I'll just bring this over. 1 equals e to the x plus 2. And you could kind of see it here if, you, if you're uh, quick enough that you're raising e to some power and the answer has to be 1. So you know that this expression here has to be 0 because e to the 0 is 1. But if you didn't quite see that, then you could do it the, the regular way by taking the natural log of both sides. Let's say ln 1 equals ln of e to the x plus 2. The natural log of 1 is 0 because e to the 0 is 1. So that's 0 equals, and this, these expressions undo each other, and we said you're going to be left with just the exponent. And so you get uh, x equals minus 2. For something a little bit more difficult, you might have to do more operations first. Uh, you see something that's scary like this, but it's really not so bad because this thing, it factors. In fact, it, it, you have to, uh, you can see this as e to the x, properties of x exponent squared, plus e to the x minus 2 is 0. So if you look at this as you, your variable, the e to the x, you can actually factor this into e to the x plus 2 and e to the x minus 1. 
Yeah. And you solve these individually just as you normally do. So I would take this one first and you get e to the x plus 2 is 0. So e to the x equals minus 2. And oh, we're not going to get an answer for this because when we go to take the natural log of both sides, you get x equals ln of minus 2, which doesn't make any sense. There is no number that you can raise e to and get minus 2 out. So no solution for that one. But this one is going to be fine. You get e to the x minus 1 is 0. And you just bring it over, it turns up just like the other one that we just did. e to the x equals 1. Natural log both sides. You get ln e to the x equals ln 1. x equals 0. And that's the only solution that we have. And that's how to use logarithms to solve exponential equations.